Now that the remote console software and licenses are installed, there is a short one-time setup in the application that is required to configure the imaging devices and the users. This video will walk through those steps which will be performed by the remote console administrator. The high-level steps for configuring remote console include 1. Setting up the device groups 2. Entering key parameters for the imaging devices you want to connect to and 3. Creating user accounts for the remote users. Log in to Remote Console as the administrator using the username admin and the password admin admin. Before we can set up an imaging device, we need to create at least one device group. The device groups are like folders and allow you to organize your devices by grouping them according to facility or modality, for example. From the dashboard, click Device Management and then click Device Groups. On the Group Profile page, enter the group name and the group description. Click Add. The group is now available in the dashboard for all remote console users. Now that we have created a device group, we can add an imaging device to that group. Click Dashboard and then click Configure New Device. On the Device Profile page, enter or select the following information about the device you are adding. Device Name. This is the name of the device as you want it to display in Remote Console. Device IP Address. This is the IP address for the imaging device. Remote Console requires imaging devices to have fixed and unique IP addresses. Device Description. A short description of the imaging device that appears in the dashboard. Phone Number. The phone number where the technologist for that imaging device will be at. Color identifier. This is another level for organizing which allows you to assign a color to the imaging device. For example, all CTs could have the same color. Connection type. There are two choices here. PP, which is IRB and RDP, and PP, SSH, and RDP. You should leave this on the default setting of IRB and RDP. Later, if you are unable to connect to the device, then change to the other setting and try again. License. Select the remote console license you want to use for the imaging device. Available licenses are shown by their expiration dates. If there is no license available for the device, only no license will be shown in the list. The user then clicks the group pull-down. Group. Select the group you want to put the device into. To complete the process, click Add. Now that we have created a device group and added a device to it, we need to test the connection to the device to make sure we are able to connect with it. To test a connection to an imaging device, you will need the assistance of a technologist since they will need to initiate the remote session through iLink on the device. If the iLink button is disabled, you will need to enable iLink on the imaging device before continuing. Contact your GE service engineer for assistance. The fourth video walks through the connection steps in more detail. If your connection to a device is unsuccessful, try the following. In Remote Console, edit the device and change its connection type. Make sure the technologist started the connection again. The remote user must connect within two minutes or the technologist will have to reinitiate the TIP Virtual Assist session. The TVA screen should read Awaiting Connection before you attempt to connect again. If changing the connection type is unsuccessful, ping the device's IP address. If you cannot make contact through a ping, make sure the IP address for the device is set correctly in Remote Console.
If all of the steps fail to result in a connection, contact GE Customer Education at 1-800-682-5327 for assistance. The final step is creating user accounts. When creating, you assign one of three roles to that user, admin, guidance mode, or viewer. As you might expect, users with the admin role can configure devices, set up user accounts, and manage licenses. Only select users should be set up as administrators. The guidance mode role allows users to view and interact with imaging devices. The viewer role is a view-only role for people who need to be able to see but not interact with imaging devices. Let's set up a user account. Log on to Remote Console as an admin user. Click User Management. On the User Profile page, enter the information for the user. When you have finished entering the information, click Add. And that's it. The user has been created. You can repeat for other remote users. You've now completed the setup for Remote Console. Mm -hmm.